Good morning, everyone. It's Rift Gal. We're playing some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke. That is a, apparently a glowing Wooloo. I think it's actually just standing on a streetlight. Uh, yeah, there's day and night now. Like, once you beat the game, it actually goes into day-night cycles. So I know I said I... I, I know I said good morning. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, but... I may have been misleading you all this time. It is not morning. So yeah, we are uh, going to continue the post-game storyline so we can get our legends. Uh, this is the second tour of the cities, as it were. Whoops. We really don't need that. Go away, Rickety. So... This is going to be our first Dynamax Battles on stream. I'm hoping that it goes well. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about it, honestly. Um, I do have some Dynamax candies. Which I suppose I could use here. Okay, we'll have a chance to meet many Pokemon. You may encounter Dynamax Pokemon. Wait, did we just go to the wrong place? I think we went to the wrong place. I think we were supposed to go to the lab, not to the professor's house. Whoops. Glad you're here. More assistance. Again, love seeing that. I'm keeping all the wishing stars. Things have been a little hectic. They've been handling things in a proper fashion. She's helping keep things afloat. Okay. And Sonia wants to show us something. Power spot detector determines where Dynamaxing is possible. You might be able to find those Sword and Shield Boots. So, Sword Word and Shield Bert are hiding somewhere. We don't know where they ran off to. And... There are power spots popping up all over Pokemon, or all over uh, Galar. And by that I mean Wedgehurst, Turfield, Turfield. Can't be Eternatus, you already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those sword and shield weird. Yep. Okay, so we get to go. Basically do a retour of each area. And this time the gym leaders help us out. Uh, for the most part. We get to uh, catch up with a couple of old friends. And we get to do a bunch of Dynamax battles with competent NPCs. Or at least semi-competent NPCs.
So Dynamax Pokemon come charging in. We're going to have Piers, Milo, and Hop. Which is why we have our Pokemon in the order we do. Uh, the first one's going to be a fire Pokemon, or a grass Pokemon. They basically match the gems. This might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. We should get going too. I like Milo. Okay, so first fight's gonna be against this uh, Dy Dynamax Zarina. I don't know how powerful these are. We should be able to Dynamax. Yep. So I guess let's go Airstream first. They're gonna be the same amount of weakness, but Airstream's gonna speed our team up. So the way that these uh, raid battle style fights work, since we haven't done one of them, uh, the opposing Pokemon generally has significantly more HP than normal, gets two actions per turn, and Uh, when you get to a certain point, they usually put up a barrier. We'll see if that actually ends up being the case for this one. Uh, you have to beat them before they get four kills, and before you get uh, before it goes ten rounds. Apparently this one did not have a barrier, so that actually makes it a lot easier to burn through real quickly. Pierce still doesn't like Dynamaxing. Normally a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax band. So this is some sort of discord. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, in the process of this, we get a bunch of league cards, which I really don't know why they made such a big deal out of. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense is not has uh, calmed down. Simple rules don't apply to us. That's what it means to be celebrities. You're just someone with strange taste in hairstyles. Um. Wow, okay. Let's try Dynamax a stronger Pokemon. Okay. Let's all calm down for a sec. Force Pokemon to Dynamax, that means they need to go to Dynamax spots.
There we go. Griffiths, calm down. Holbury and Modester. Yep. We'll exaggerate what happened. And my Pokemon completely destroyed the stadium. Wait, it's still right there. Yeah. That was dumb. <laughs> okay. Like the gym should be okay. They're only at Holbury and Modestoke right now. Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and run wild. There's no way I can simply sit by and watch. Let's head to one of those stadiums. Okay. We'll do Holbury next. I, I actually really like the way that this section is set up, even though I don't like the plot, necessarily. Or at least the character design. Honestly, the plot isn't even terrible by itself. The idea of Dynamax Pokemon going crazy and you having to go calm them down and stuff. Uh, Swordbert... Or, Swordward and Shieldbert are just really awkward. Don't get too close. Yep. We came to help you out. Let's go. Okay, so... Second one is a water Pokemon. And they said they were going to go for something more powerful. So here we have a Gyarados. Now, we know that Gyarados is four times weak to electric. So we are going to try and blast it out of the sky. We get to the opportunity to Dynamax first. I'm guessing this is just going to be two hits. Probably less than two rounds. At the very least. He hits pretty hard, unfortunately. Looks like he did uh, finish Pop's Rillaboom off, which is unfortunate. We will go ahead and max lightning. One shot. We'll take it. I... Yeah, I'm not expecting this to be extremely challenging. <laughs> I just like the idea of it where we get the, uh, um, we get to see the gym leaders helping. We get to see them doing, being helpful to the community, basically, trying to defend their gyms. And I think that's neat. I, I like that as a kind of reminder that that's why these are the gym leaders, because they're awesome. Because they are actually good at what they do. So, Motostoke is fire. I was kind of up in the air on which way to go with this. I decided to go with Mark. We're just going to pile the HP on. <laughs> right, actually, the situation's getting pretty bad. It's a bit too much to take on single-handedly. With you all by my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter by the minute. Let's begin. So, this is 
That's a little odd to me, because the first time through, Kabu seems very serious. And this time he's very... he almost feels a little goofy. So, Torkoal has the Drought ability, which sometimes means, yep, that it gets to create sunlight. Uh, we want to make sure that we get rid of it. Um, so we're going to max Geyser first turn to cause rain instead. And the reason we're doing that is because I think Torkoal can get Solar Beam. I'm not sure this one has Solar Beam, but just in case... By the way, that HP. That HP. Defense drop. That's really good. We might still be able to take this in one round then. Nope. That's okay. Change the weather. And again, uh, Solar Beam hits in one turn in the rain, so if this was, if this Torkoal had Solar Beam, uh, it would be able to do a ton of damage to Mark. And we don't want that. Uh, second round, we're actually going to max Quake. Slightly less damage, but it uh, buffs the special defense of our party. Each of the Dynamax moves, uh, from what you've seen before, you know, have those, like, special effects that usually either change the field, the weather, or the st or give a stat boost or penalty. Um, this one boosts special defense. It didn't matter in the end, but just good to keep things, keep on top of things. So if we were able to extinguish things on time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Moto Stoke Stadium until it gets turned back. If you ever need help, ask. The cards. I guess since I haven't really talked about it. Oh. Those two showed up in the Pokemon Lab. So we have to go back to the Pokemon Lab to get the sword and get the Wishing Stars. Piers is going to stick with us. I like the fact that Piers both showed up earlier. Um, you know, when we were dealing with uh, the chairman, and he brought Team Yellen to help with that. And I like the fact that he is kind of this tag along with us for this section as well. Um, again, it kind of just shows why he is a good, why he was a good gym leader, I guess, um, since he is now retired. You know, he cared about his city, he cares about his people, and yeah. We celebrities have an enhanced Insight on such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over. <laughs> Wishing stars and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. There's no way we're giving them to you. Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will, you've gone way out of bounds. I haven't forgotten about getting back the rusted sword either. Didn't think a loser would follow. Must you once again taste the flavor of humiliating defeat? Okay. Don't lose that rockin' spirit. Okay, this one's a double battle. We called such a terrible thing as weirdos by these ruffians. I didn't actually realize this one was a double battle. Uh, so we're gonna hope that we have the good team for it. 
because I was looking at just Shield Bird again. Nope, the list pod's kind of scary. Um. Hmm. So Glisspod forcibly changes out if you hit it hard enough. It's this is listed as effective. We have charcoal. I'm gonna go for this. We're gonna be slightly risky here. We're gonna trust that Sam can do and take that thing down to half. Yep. Emergency exit forces a switch. So they don't get. So they're only gonna get one action this turn as a result. Perfect. Two steel types. Once again, only one attack this turn. I'm gonna hope that uh, Double used a uh, used some sort of fighting attack. Double kick, perfect. Which is four times effective against B Sharp, which is Steel Dark. Stone Edge. Oh no! Okay, I was not expecting Stone Edge. I'll give them that. Sorry, Sam. Um, we might be in trouble here. I was not planning for this to go the way it is going. Um, Phalanx. These are both physical types, so we're gonna go ahead and let B or finish B Sharp off that way. And we're gonna bolt up once on Grant. So that he's gonna be a little bit more survivable. Okay, that's fine. Hop isn't doing a Nuzlocke, so he can resurrect his Pokemon. We will bulk up once. Attack and defense up. Up has Corviknight. Perfect. That's a flying type. And against uh, Dublade. Ooh, that's actually annoying. Dublade is... Um, we can't use fighting moves against Dublade. So... Close combat reduces its defense and special defense. It's two steps down at this point. Uh, scary face? Why? We don't care about its speed. Uh, I mean, I suppose it'll be good for next turn. Um, we'll go another rock slide here. That should finish it off, and then we'll see if we can get a flinch. Uh, Rock Slide has a chance of causing flinch, that's why we're going for it. I know it doesn't do a ton of damage, but it, there is a chance it just doesn't hit. Or that uh, Double Aid just doesn't get to it. So, it feels pretty worth it at that point. Um, this is what we were waiting for. We're gonna go ahead and attack Clin Clan here. Oh, nice. Corviknight survived, so it's gonna take another hit. Why are you using Scary Face? Attack. Okay. We're gonna take Clin Clang out. That'll phase, or that takes out uh, all of Shieldbird's Pokemon, so now it's a two-on-one for the rest of it. And we never have to worry about two Pokemon attacking into the same slot. Hmm. 
we know what they've got left. Hope Magus is bulky enough for this. <laughs> And unfortunately, Hop just lost his flyer, so we're not going to be able to... Perfect. Uh, that makes our Earthquake a little bit of a friendly fire risk, but I'm not sure how much I care. Honestly. I mean, I guess we could just Waterfall. Waterfall does also have a chance of uh, Lynch. So, again, chance it just doesn't get to attack, and it gets stabbed extra damage, so. Yep. That was enough. And we know what the last one is. Bliss Pod. So, for this one, we will bounce. Wow. That was close. That was kind of cool, actually. Poor Hop. Oh no. Um. I mean, I guess we'll just bounce again. There we go. the vexing predicament. Surely this might be some must be some kind of mistake. Get a bunch of money, which is nice, but and uh oh cat evolves. Nice. So, Charizard is good. <laughs> uh, we still need a lot more levels. You only won because you two teamed up. Still, you we offer you ruffians our praise. Hey, the two of you teamed up too. Get the rusted sword back. Stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy. This is a bad time. My apologies for the intrusion. These men are dangerous. Be careful. Well done, your infiltration mission was a resounding success. Have you gathered the wishing stars? Yes, thanks to your uh, distraction buying me so much time. What? This moment is so sweet. I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. Our battle with you was just the trick. We'd won before you'd grabbed a single Pokeball. With all that, farewell. Why? Is it all life from the start? There was no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under the control of royal lineage once again. Well, unfortunately, this is a hard point in any run. Our starter Pokemon has fallen. We've come a very long way, Sam. Thank you for your uh, volunteering. Thank you for being our fire starter for this whole way. We'll make sure to put you back in the rotation uh, so you can get back and join our team again 
soon. Did not think that thing had Stone Edge. <laughs> so, I think that is going to be a good spot to take a break. Next time we will visit the other four gyms, I believe. We'll get to Stone Side, Balanlea, uh, Sir Chester, and Hammerlock. Hopefully you are still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. I'll catch you next time.